Good morning guys, time is 10.01. This morning I've just been working on the content-led SEO course. I figured I would spare you guys. If you guys are returning viewers, you already know that I am basically a broken record with this course, just trying to get these these lessons, modules knocked out. I am already through less, or module four, on to module five, which is the last module. So I uh, gotta get some more time in on that this week, but in the meantime, I'm going to transition gears working on our power page. Uh, trying to just refine that, make sure that it's a, as perfect as I can get it, uh, and going through that to make sure that I've implemented all the things that I've been learning in the course. So after I get done with that, I have to work on some transparencies and a custom order, and then post a TikTok Reel, YouTube Short, LinkedIn post, and Pinterest. Um, so this guy, Gary Vaynerchuk, if you guys aren't familiar, he's like this like media celebrity who got rich in the early 2000s when social media was like super easy uh, on his dad's wine business. And then now is like this like media mogul figure, so take what you will about that. But um, basically, he says that you need to make ten uh, pieces of content and share that to social media per day. Uh, so I mean, I don't know about you, but ten pieces of content that seems like an absolute boatload. Um, so I'm going to try and hit five through TikTok, Reels, Shorts, um, Pinterest, and LinkedIn see how that goes and if that goes well maybe it might not be that big of a stretch to post two pieces of content to each of those platforms per day um, but i don't know man 10 pieces of content per day uh it really seems like a struggle but he said that is what it would take to like outperform your competitors uh if you're like a new entrant into the space that you're trying to compete in um so that's something that i thought was interesting something that i may put into practice if i can find the time to get 10. Uh, but like i said i'm going to start with five after that i have to do an ams clip get a clip from the vlog and post that to the youtube channel and then wrap up the day packaging up our orders um Something that I did want to share with you guys was just this really nice email that we got from one of our customers last night. Um, she was saying how she was so thankful. Here, I'll show you guys. Um, so yeah, she was super thankful that the transfer that we made for her uh, looked great and was super thankful that we helped it come to life because she just basically had the idea and then we helped her uh, bring the design to life with our design software and get it printed for her. Uh, so she just sent this super sweet message and included a cute picture of her nephew uh, wearing the garment with the transfer on it. So I don't know, stuff like this really just makes our day. Um, I mean, you guys know if you do own your own business, how customer support works. It's usually not something that we look forward to doing. Uh, but when we get emails like this, man, it sure does make it better. And uh, I don't know. I just wanted to share that with you. Messages like this are pretty cool. Yeah, we also got a review too last night um, with our screen print transfers. Just uh, saying again, our customer service and service is great. Extremely satisfied, highly recommend. It's just uh, trying to really improve the customer service that we offer to our customers, making that one of our differentiating factors. Uh, because there's a lot of competitors out there in the transfer space who basically just put up their website and expect customers to know how to use it, how to upload their design, how to have print-ready artwork in the first place. And a lot of customers that come to us, they don't have any of those things. They don't know how to use the website. They don't have print-ready artwork. They don't have this. They don't have that. Um, so I think a big differentiating factor for us is we'll actually spend the time with the customer, helping them, figuring out what they want from their design, figuring out how to create it. Maybe they have a background on their design. Let's remove the background, make it transparent for them uh, just like walking them through the steps holding their hand through the process I really think that that can be a super differentiating factor for your business um, customer service is really how Amazon became an Amazon uh, became the industry powerhouse in e-commerce so I think if we can learn anything from Amazon it's that always put the customer number one focus on the customer uh, if you've ever watched interviews of Bezos or whatever, he always says like, obsess over the customer. I'm Jeff Bezos. Or customer. Customers. Customer. 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 Customers to say wow. Is that obsessive focus. Obsessive attention to the... Um, so we've been really trying to implement that throughout the entire entirety of our business. And we get reviews like this from time to time where they always rave about the customer service. Um, and so seeing the reviews of some of our competitors, uh, they get like negative reviews on the customer service. They say that the uh, person on the other end was short with them. And I don't, I, 
I don't know. I get that there is like a place for a business where they basically only want to appeal to professionals, people who know their stuff and whatnot. But I think if you are trying to build a wider, broader, long lasting business, customer service has to be at the forefront of your strategy. What you guys think though, if you do own your own business, is customer service that you guys really spend some time working on? Uh, is the customer always right in your business? Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys typically do in these kind of scenarios, how you guys respond to feedback, whether that be positive or critical. Drop it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys.